Hi, this is Jeff from BayesTheorem-QED.com. This is a Winbugs exam example of a binomial likelihood distribution. For our, our example here, it's a opinion survey. An opinion survey is conducted to determine the portion theta of the population that is in favor of a certain policy. After some discussion with various experts, you determine that the prior belief has a theta greater than 0.5, but with lots of uncertainty. The results of the survey are that out of N equals 1,000 respondents, S equals 650 were in favor of the policy. What do you conclude? So you, you decide a prior distribution of theta will be 0.6 with, with V theta 0.3 squared, which corresponds to a beta distribution of alpha equals 1 and beta equals 2 thirds. And that is, this is how you put it in symbology. So our graph over here, probability of theta, y and theta on the x, and this is the prior distribution with the posterior plot here. This goes from 0 to 2, this goes from 0 to 20. And on the right side, it's probability of theta given y. The survey results give you a posterior distribution with density theta given y sub 1 to n. This distribution is a beta 651, 350.667, whose mean and variance are theta given y sub 1 to n. 0 0.6499 and variance theta given y sub 1 to n again equals 0 0.0151 squared. The 95% credibility interval found using the normal approximation is given here 0 0.6499. three decimals with a 95% credibility interval computing using the inverse beta CDF cumulative distribution function. The probability that the 1,000 first respondent would be in favor is given here. Following Winbug model, we base the inference on the number of successes observed and usually use the likelihood S given beta. But it's a binomial distribution in and theta. The rectangle and the DAG denotes a constant. So here's the DAG right here. So we have a distribution of S and we have a constant n and a variable theta and then we have a white predicted this is uh, the predicted outcome that we're looking for uh, and theta is fed into that. So here is your Winbugs model. And this is the data, this is how it's going to, this is how it's initially uh, listed. And we're going to do 2,000 simulations, and this is what we're looking for here. And so we will have two nodes, theta and the y predict. <coughs> so this is the distribution of the theta, and this is the y predict. All right, so I just go to uh, Winbugs. Uh, this is the reference right here. This is where I got this from. 
this is the question again and what we're going to do run the uh, wind bucks so we're going to go to uh, we're going to specify the model check the model if the model is syntactically correct we're going to load the data the data is loaded we're just going to do one chain we're going to compile that and then generate our initial values so we're going to update it with a thousand then we're going to put our nodes in remember these are our nodes right here theta and y predict Set data in, set y predict in, we begin at a thousand, and uh, we'll update this again to two thousand, and then we'll evaluate our nodes. So we have Theta with a mean of 0 0.6498, 6497, off a little bit, and then our y, y predict is 0 0.646, 0 0.646 is off. Let me run another thousand, and then we'll get our stats again and see where we are. So this goes up to uh, theta goes up to 0 0.65. Y predict 0.647. So I'll still off a little bit there. So now let's just get the uh, let's do a coda here for chain one for theta, and uh, what what I want to do is just graph this for you. tab so number of iterations uh, this is the chain data distribution histogram with a little fit here. So here we have our theta normal distribution. The mean is 0 0.6500. and then our y predict points six four seven point six four seven so these come out to be as graphed back we see that we're almost there so the next we the, 
prediction of the next 1001 uh, value for y predict. session. Thank you very much.